So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how we can determine whether something is a perfect square trinomial. So it's very simple to determine that. So what you do is you want to take the very first value, which here would be an invisible one, and the very last value, and you want to find the square root of both of those. So the square root of 1 and the square root of 81. The square root of 1 is just 1. The square root of 81 is 9. You want to multiply those two numbers together and get a number. If this number is half of this middle number, then it is a perfect square trinomial. So because 9 is half of 18, then yes, this is a perfect square trinomial. So then we can determine, okay, well, what is the answer factored out of this perfect square trinomial? So the way that we do that is we would put a square around the entire first value and the entire last term as well. And we're going to find the square root of both of those. So we're going to find the square root of x squared and the square root of 81. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 81 is 9. We're going to put a plus sign, put parentheses, and squared. So if you factor x squared plus 18x plus 81, it would be x plus 9 squared. All right, let's do that again. I'm going to just do a different problem this time, and this problem is going to be x squared plus 16x plus 64. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do again is we're going to determine whether this is a perfect square trinomial. So again, we take the very first value, the first number in front of the x squared, and the very last value, and so this is an invisible 1. We're going to find the square root of 1 and the square root of 64. Square root of 1 is 1, square root of 64 is 8. Multiply them out, 1 times 8 is 8. If this number is half of this middle number, then it is a perfect square trinomial. 8 is half of 16, so yes, this is a perfect square trinomial. So let's go ahead and factor it, x squared plus 16x plus 64. So now we're going to put a square around the entire first term and the entire second term. And we're going to go ahead and factor. So x squared and the square root of 64. So the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 64 is 8. We're going to put a plus sign, put the parentheses around it, and put a square. So it would be x plus 8 squared. Super, super simple, isn't it? Okay, so let's keep doing some more practice problems. And they're going to continue to get more advanced as we go along. So let's go ahead and put some letters in here. And I know that everyone loves letters. So 4m squared plus 12mn plus 9n squared. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing that we were doing before. We're going to find the first number and the last number. So we're going to do the square root of 4 and the square root of 9. Square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, is 6 half of 12? Yes, it is. So yes, this is a perfect square. So then we're going to go ahead and we're going to factor it. 4m squared plus 12mn plus 9n squared. So now we're going to put a square around the entire first term and the entire last term. So we're going to square 4m squared and 9n squared. Okay? So we can break this apart by doing the square root of 4 and the square root of m squared. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of m squared is m. And then we're going to go ahead and put a plus sign. The square root of 9 times the square root of n squared. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of n squared is n. So it would be 2m plus 3n squared. And that will be our answer. 2m plus 3n squared. So we're following the same concept each time in order to determine whether or not this is a perfect square. We go ahead and we find the square root of the first number and the last number, and then we multiply them together. If this answer ends up being half the middle number, then yes, it is a perfect square. And then when we try to factor it out and figure out, okay, what is the answer to this perfect square? Then you go ahead and you factor the entire first term and the entire last term. You put an addition sign in the middle, you put a parenthesis in, in it, and then you go ahead and you put the square. So let's keep going. 
so i have a few more examples just give me a moment guys all right so we're gonna go back to some simpler ones and we're just gonna mix it up just to make sure that we're understanding this concept well so first we're gonna ask ourselves is this a perfect square trinomial so again we're gonna go ahead and put a square around the first value which is an invisible one and the last value that's nine so we're gonna find the square root of one and the square root of nine square root of one is one square root of nine is three we're gonna go ahead and multiply those out one times three is three three is half of six so yes this is a perfect square trinomial okay so then now we're gonna go ahead and try to factor this out x squared plus six x plus nine okay so now we're gonna find the square root of the entire first term and the entire last term square root of x squared is x square root of nine is three we're gonna put an addition sign x plus three and squared so x plus three squared is x squared plus six x plus nine factored all right let's keep going so um what about this one 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. okay so this one looks a little scary as well i'm not gonna lie but let's go ahead and let's keep doing the same thing that we were doing so the first thing we're going to determine is whether this is a perfect square so we're going to go ahead and put a square around the 4 and a 9. so square root of 4 and the square root of 9. square root of 4 is 2 square root of 9 is 3 three two times three is equal to six six is half of 12 so yes this is a perfect square trinomial okay so now let's go ahead and try to factor it okay so you remember we're going to find the square root of the entire first term and the entire last term so the square root of 4x squared and the factoring the square root of 9 i'm sorry so if you break this apart it's the square root of 4 times the square root of x squared so the square root of 4 is 2, square root of x squared is x, square root of three, 9 is 3, so it will be 2x plus 3, put in parentheses, and square it. So it will be 2x plus 3 squared. 